I'm gonna be building a seven kilowatt air power vehicle. This thing runs on electricity and has a giant propeller in the back that delivers 50 pounds of thrust. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna remove the chain because that's absolutely useless to us if we're making an air power vehicle. All right, we got the chain off. So we're gonna add this very high quality piece of steel and this other very high quality piece of steel here. Let's get to welding. Let's turn on the welder. It's off. All right, let's weld it. Oh, shit. clamp's on fire. Welding is easy as four, five, six. Welding is four. Damn, I'm a welding prodigy. All right. So I found the perfect plate for the motor, and it's actually on the bottom of this microwave transformer. So we're gonna de-weld this. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm gonna try. So let's mount the motor. Actually, it doesn't mount, so we're gonna make it mount. You're not gonna mount to anything. <sighs> okay, drill go vroom. And we're just gonna weld it right here. All right, let's weld. Ready? Yeah. My hand's all a bit cooked. Why that this is our battery, and we're probably gonna mount it right here. And we can just weld the bar right here and right here to hold it. I'll get you some duct tape. We're gonna use this stainless steel mesh because it's one of the strongest things I actually own. You know, that looks very sturdy. All right, let's connect it up. I put the battery right here and the ESC right here. All right, here's the three wires on the motor, and we're connecting to the ESC. Now, when we flip the switch, it should turn on. However, we need a controller, and that's what the servo tester is for. I have a three volt battery powering the servo tester, and we're just plugged in and hope my arm doesn't get chopped off. That's not good. We managed to blow an ESC, so here's a second one, and we're just gonna put thermal compound on it so we don't blow this one too. I have no shoes on for faster acceleration. I hit almost 40 miles an hour, and that is just way too fast for this tiny car. So in my next video, I'm going to be adding a steering dampener here, and that will allow me to hit a top speed. I might actually fly.